Welcome to another session of Statistics and Probability. This is your teacher, John Glenn S. Mario. Today, we will be discussing Understanding Correlation Analysis. After going through this lesson, you are expected to Describe the nature of bivariate data Construct scatter plot for a set of bivariate data Draw the best fit line on a scatter plot and Estimate the strength association between two variables based on the scatter plot. Now, pag recall muna tayo dun sa ating, ayan, sa ating algebra, no? Plotting points on a Cartesian plane. So, saan kaya, uh, saan kaya magpo-fall yung mga points na to? Okay, so alam pa ba? Okay, so again, ito yung ating x-axis. The horizontal and the uh, the vertical is the y-axis. Ayan. So, sige. The first number indicates the position of the point on the x-axis. And the second number indicates the position of the point on the y-axis. So, sige. Plot natin. Saan kaya magpo-fall? Uh, Turuhin nyo lang sa screen. Ano? Saan kaya magpo-fall yung 2, 5? Okay. Very good. Doon. Next. 6, 3. Ayun, very good. How about 3, negative 2? Ayun, bumaba naman siya. Negative 5, 8. Ayun, very good. Napakataas pala. How about negative 7, 1? Ayun, doon pala. Next, 0, 6. Along the, very good. X-axis, siyempre. 0, 6. Okay? So, how about what? How about negative 2, 5? Yun, very good. So, ayan yung mga points. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Tatanda na. Now, let us discuss the lesson proper. Correlation analysis. It is a statistical method used to determine whether a relationship between two variables exists. So, dito, uh, sa mga nakakaraan, halos uh, isang type lang ng data yung uh, kinokopit natin. For now, for correlation analysis, we are dealing with two variables and the relationship existing between those variables. Those variables that have two uh, data that involves two variables are called Bivariate data. Yan. So again, any data that has two existing variables are called bivariate data. How about the scatter plot? The scatter plot is also known as the scatter gram or the scatter diagram. It shows how each point collected from a set of bivariate data are scattered on a Cartesian plane. So, pinaka, uh, kung ang probability distribution ay may histogram, ang correlation analysis ay mayroong scatter plot. Ayan. So, dito, ito ang graphical representation ng data when it comes to correlation analysis. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Now, for the directions of correlation, meron tayong tatlo. First is the positive. When we say, pa, uh, when we have a positive direction, it means that when high, va when high values of one variable corresponds to high values of the other variable, or when low values of one variable corresponds to low values of the other variable. So, kapag daw parehas na mataas at parehas na mababa yung mga data, we have a positive uh, direction for the correlation. So, ito yung isang example nun. Paano namin malalaman, sir? Uh, kapag, po, uh, kapag po ang inyong uh, trend, uh, kapag po ang in yung direction ng line na ito or the trend line is nasa ano nasa first quadrant at third quadrant ng Cartesian plane na yan good so doon siya nagpo-fall or naka-incline siya dito naka-incline siya within this direction ayan yan ang positive okay good how about negative negative values of one uh, negative direction when high values of one variable corresponds to low values of the other variable, 
or when low values of one variable corresponds to high values of the other variable. So, kabaliktaran naman nung kangina. Kung kangina magkaparehas, mataas yung first variable, mataas din yung second. Dito naman, mataas yung first, mababa yung second, and vice versa. Ang tawag doon ay, neg uh, nagkakaroon tayo ng negative correlation, or negative direction of correlation. Ano ba? Okay, good. Ano yung pangatlo, sir? Kung kanina may positive, may, ngayon ay negative. Ngayon naman, meron naman tayong zero correlation. Zero correlation exists when high values of one variable corresponds to either low or high value of the other variable. So, kung mapapasin nyo yung trend line niya, halos lahat ito uh, nakadepende sa trend line. So, sa itsura ng trend line. Ano ba yung uh, trend line? So, mamaya, E, didiscuss ko. For now, uh, kung kanina meron tayong direction, ngayon naman, strength naman. Ano naman ang strength ng uh, correlation? The strength of the correlation is the closeness of the points to the trend line determines the strength of the association. The closer the points are to the line, the stronger is the correlation. So, yung mga points daw, uh, yung mga points daw regarding sa trend line, kailangan uh, mas mataas, uh, hindi, hindi siya mas mataas, kundi mas low siya doon sa, yung points ay mas low sa trend line or mas malapit sa trend line. Bakit? Yun ang magde-determine po uh, ng strength ng isang correlation. Ano-ano naman ang classification ng strength ng correlation? Meron tayo anim. We have the perfect, very high, very strong, moderately high or moderately strong. We got moderately low, moderately weak. We got very low or very weak or no correlation at all. Ayan. So, meron tayong anim na strengths, uh, anim na strength classification, ha? So, paano ba namin malalaman yan? Actually, hindi naman siya kailangan tandaan word for word. Kailangan lang, uh, uh, base sa itsura, mabibisualize nyo siya. Paano? Sa ganito. Now, for the trend line. Trend line is the line closest to the points and is determined by regression analysis. So, sa mga susunod na topic, uh, didiscuss ko sa inyo kung paano kinocompute ang trend line. But for now, uh, mag a mag a muna tayo ng trend line para lang malaman natin kung ano yung itsura ng uh, para lang ma-visualize natin yung direction at ng ano yung direction at yung strength ng isang correlation analysis ayan very good so paano ba yan sir so halimbawa yung black line that represents my trend line and the dots or the red dots represents the data so Paano? Ano ang masabi nyo dyan? Anong klaseng uh, correlation meron tayo? Base dyan sa itsura ng ating, uh, that, base dyan sa nasa picture. We can say that, based on the closeness, mukha siyang close. Okay. Therefore, we can say that this is moderately positive. As you can see, paano ko din i-describe yung, uh, yung scatter graph or yung picture? This is the strength. First is the strength. Second is the direction. Kuha ba? Okay, good. How about the second one? Comparing to the first one, mas close yung mga data compared sa una. Okay? So, anong strength kaya ito? Alam natin positive siya. Pero ano kaya ang strength? This is what? Strong, positive. Ayan. Compare dito, mas dikit. Kung ba? Okay, good. How about this one? Ayan. Kung ito, moderate positive, ito naman, pakabila yung direction, therefore, moderate negative. Ayan. Kung ba? Okay, good. How about this? Kabaliktaran lang nito, which is what? Strong negative. How about this one? Sir, bukang hindi namin makita yung dots. Yung dots ay naka-align mismo doon sa line. So, therefore, we can say that the strength of the correlation is what? Perfect. Then, the direction is positive. How about this one? Walang kadire-direction yung correlation. Therefore, no correlation. Kasi wala... Uh, Wala siyang direction. 
Okay? Ayan. Very good. How about this one? Uy, align with the trend line. Kaso, negative yung direction. Therefore, we can say that this is perfect negative. Kuha ba? Ayan. So, na-visualize na natin yung correlation analysis. Kuha ba? Okay, good. Now, let's practice. Get ready for the next battle. So, ngayon, fill in the blanks muna tayo, okay? Let's fill in the blanks with the correct answer. Okay? Sige. So, sa una, a statistical method used to determine whether a relationship between two variables exists is called very good. That is, correlation analysis. Next, the closeness of the points to the trend line determines the blank of the association. That is what? Determines the strength of the association. Next, Blank is data that involves two variables. Very good. That is bivariate data. Number four, blank shows how each point collected from a set of bivariate data are scattered on the Cartesian plane. Very good. This is scatter plot. And finally, for number five, blank is the line closest to the points and is determined by Regression analysis. This is what? Very good. Trend line. So, nakuha ba lahat? Okay. Tamang tama. Very good. Thanks for watching my video lesson. Again, this is John Linus Almario saying, remember, trust the process. Bye guys. See you soon.